we will be playing some expo. I know on the, uh, I think I like, I don't know. Anyway, on my thumbnail it showed Expo Hunter, but I've been liking Expo Psycho more recently. Um, I copied this from Ladder because I didn't have it in my deck slot yet. Um, it usually uses Ice Golem though, I believe. Let me think about this. Would in the current meta, why wouldn't I? I mean, I'll just play some main games and we'll see how it goes. Alright, so uh, I wish I had some wins in this GC already, but uh, we'll play like four. Four or five, just so we can get some decent matches in. It's usually just like the first two or three that are kind of mm, hit or miss. I had a really bad starting hand. I probably should have just like. Well, I didn't even have skeletons though. That's fine. We have that extra protection on the right side now, though, so we'll... Okay, so he's playing Hog Cycle. We should, uh, win this. And... So we'll just start stacking troops on the left side. Nice. That's pretty much... I won that game now. His cannon was bad. But then again, I had, like, distracting troops, so... Just keep on protecting it. Make sure he takes that tower. And now, he's not gonna be able to penetrate through, so... That's actually a pretty bad fireball. Right here, what I should have done, though, is I should have waited a little bit longer before I played another expo, so I had more uh, elixir to support it. Nah, we don't need that log. It'll die. If I wanted to, I could just start fireball cycling, but uh, his hog's out of rotation, and... There's no re he doesn't have, like, an amazing way to stop expo, so... We'll just keep on uh, applying the pressure until the time runs out. If he gives us a fireball, we'll always take it. Tesla's can't be spelled before you play it, or before it pops up, so there's no reason to... I think I needed to play that one tile uh, higher, though. I think that would pull... If uh, it had been placed, but preemptively it needs to be one tile higher, I believe. That's a bad cannon. Got the musketeer too. And we will connect. So yeah, the Tesla should have been one higher, but obviously it doesn't really matter. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> no prediction today. It's a building style. All right, GGs. Let's go ahead and hop into another one. Pretty easy win there. He didn't play it like amazingly, but I had matchups so. Bridge, nice and safe. This could be log bait. A weird log bait, I guess. Eh, dang it. Die! Yes. Nice skeletons. So, log bait, like all zap bait cards with hog, mega knight. Okay.
I should have, honestly, I, if I really wanted to be fancy there, I could have prediction logged. Because. Gosh. No, 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 no! Dang it, I, I screwed that up. I didn't think he was gonna go for them. Um. Yeah, because I knew he didn't have Mega Knight or Hog in rotation, so he's gonna have to go Star Me first. This is a good Archer split, though. It'll make the Mega Knight uh, get killed by both towers. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna go. Uh, f Actually, he has Hog in rotation. We'll hover the log. We'll hover the. Okay, we'll have it ready. But... This is actually a pretty good fireball. Yeah, beautiful fireball, actually. I don't even have to log this. I'll go Mega Knight here. This is like a really hard matchup just because Hog and Mega Knight. I don't know if he has a big spell though, and that obviously plays to my advantage. I love Wi Fi bars. He didn't distract it in time. Hog will go to Tesla. Connect. Nice. Alright, yeah, winning. Despite the despite the lag, I guess. It didn't really like seem to lag that much, but I'm obvious that's okay, I'm 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 happy with that. So he didn't have a big spell, did he? Yeah, he had a pretty weird deck. It was supposed to be like a counter to others at Bay decks maybe, with arrows and stuff, but need a need a poison in there. But if he had had poison that would have been pretty difficult, but I think I still could have won. Alright, alright. Same deck, maybe? He didn't play that very well. Wait, did I play it too far back? I didn't even realize until just now. Cause it would have locked on the tower just then, unless it like lagged. Yeah, that that has to be one tile too far back. Calculated. So we're playing the same deck. Uh, this matchup is kind of annoying because it's like defensive expos. Good setup. Yep, perfect. He's so far behind now. This is so good. Fireball's out of rotation, so we'll go Expo. Alright, again, that's game. So basically, you should never preemptively play the Defensive Expo. You should, you should, Defensive Expo, once they've Expoed at the bridge, um, yeah, I mean, basically, that's it. Because he let me spell it out, and then I already had an Ice Golem in that lane, so it was like, easy peasy. I'm just trying to cycle to another Ice Golem, so my Expo locks onto his. Or at least pressures it enough that uh, everything else kills it, and then I can just Fireball it if I need to. Actually, I'll get my Expo to lock on, so I don't, I'm going to save the Fireball so I can Fireball cycle more effectively, obviously.
fun bomb. Log won't kill it, so I have to get to another fireball. I don't know why he moved his expo placement. It would have been harder for me to defend otherwise, but whatever. And a fireball, and that is a game. Alright, I'll get one more in. These have all been pretty, like, quality matches, actually. Hog Cycle is getting more popular now because someone, the guy, the guy that won last season played it. Um, very well. Watch Clash of Ashes video with Jack if you haven't already. I think it's his most recent video. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, I got a haircut too. Got it cut shorter on the sides because my hair goes way too fast. Okay, he's actually really far behind. I don't think he has enough elixir for Mega Knight. So uh, if it does come through, it'll be late. Yeah, I think he's saving up to Mega Knight. There it is. Oh, I messed up. It's fine though. I almost put those archers too close and I was gonna cry. But yeah, um, he's playing the popular Mega Knight deck. This is actually a really good matchup to show, but he was so aggressive at the start that I just, I had a counter push with the archers and then I'm able to get that, uh, to get that uh, expo down. And that was really nice. This fireball is gonna be value. He actually has minions instead of bats. If they had bats, I would've done the same thing though. It just would've been one less of a positive elixir trade for me. It would have been a neutral trade instead of a, wait, no. Yeah, it would have been a positive one instead of positive two. I'm, I'm getting feisty, so uh, we'll go ahead and play uh, Expo. There it is. <laughs> There's that Mega Knot we were looking for. He should have played that Magnet a little bit farther back so he got the jump off. Should have played those a little bit farther back. I start pressuring the other lane. Actually, no, 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 no. We'll just defend, we'll just defend. Because his deck can take a tower really easily. Defensive towers. I should have played the expo and the Tesla like one both one tile more to the left, but uh <laughs> it's, it's gonna be alright. I like to see you get through this. <laughs> alright. A GG. It's a good win against a meta deck. Very solid. Uh, we'll do one more. Let's go Ice Spear in the front. Get a little bit more of a cycle going on there since our expo is like last card in rotation. Go Archers. Oh, bad YouTuber. Alright. Maybe the same matchup. Didn't have much else choice much else of a choice there. Archer's actually gonna get some really nice chip on the right side because of that ice golem tanking though. Those bats are basically wasted because of the Tesla. Yeah, so same matchup as last time, he has bats instead of minions. I don't want to give him a chance to go offensive with my log out of rotation, so I'm going to go ahead and play down Expo. He will go Mega Knight. Hmm. Because I didn't get the Tesla in time. Not much else I can do there. That lagged. 
Holy crap, that lag may cost me. Should have played archers one tile lower. We need a Tesla placed. If I place a Tesla, it needs to be placed before the Mega Knight can be played. So like, it needs to be like a preemptive Tesla, basically. Not now though. I don't have the elixir just yet. I don't know why that Mega Knight jumped to the archers. I didn't think it would. Hmm, we'll probably, we'll play again. See if we can get that matchup again, because we just kind of got screwed at the start. That lag hurt me a lot, too, actually. My defense could have been better, though. But, uh, I played that pretty bad. We'll play by him, though. That's what everyone's playing right now, so we'll get that matchup again, and we'll win it this time. Gotta get, a uh, early Tesla down. And have kind of a push built up. Because he doesn't have a big spell, so, like, building up a push before the expo goes down is the way to win. Okay, this guy could definitely be playing the same thing. Hopefully he is, so we can end this on a good note. Yep, he is. He's extremely aggressive. Although with my fireball out of rotation, that kind of makes sense. It's not the same deck. It's just like some bridge ban, I guess. Woo, I played that bad. Gotta do a better job of kiting. My ice comb was a little bit low in the first place. He has a lot of cards that uh, will be annoying to deal with, but uh, we should still be able to win. Okay. Awesome, awesome delay. It just it just came out like three seconds late, and then it didn't pull. And now I'm gonna get I, I he hit a tower because my ice golem just came out like three seconds late, and it was too far. That's so annoying. I'm gonna win though. <laughs> uh, oh, I expect him to play a card. He just zapped it. I needed how to win <laughs> I mean he can just drop stuff from top so
If he keeps on wasting elixir like this though, I can probably set up an expo. Why would he not play that on top of the expo? I mean, I'm not complaining. The full on just like dropping stuff randomly for no reason is in effect. Defend that Tesla. Let's get another expo. And somehow we win. Okay. <laughs> I haven't won just yet, but we'll cycle to another fireball and win. Fireball log, we'll do it. Fireball is 201. Ooh, actually the Ice Spirit? Oh, if the Ice Spirit would have connected, that would have been so sexy. Because <laughs> Fireball does 201 and log does 86 or 84? 84. 84, yeah. I want to do another one. You're just getting all the games. This way we get, we'll get to six ones. We got this, we got this. Hopefully this guy's playing that meta, the meta deck. He is not. He could be playing something else though, like the graveyard deck would be a good matchup because that's a, that matchup is supposed to be in his favor. Okay, I don't know what he's playing. Okay. I don't know what that lava hound was. Oh wait. So this should be in my favor, of course. Skeleton's down to distract by the remaining archer. Tries to kill it. At the very least, it'll be weakened. I got expo damage. Skeleton's still delayed for my expo, so. Not bad. Not bad at all. I wanted it to be in tower range first. How is that not in tower range? And this Tesla. <laughs> the prediction log, baby. Dun, dun, dun. Ice Golem's gonna finish off that tower. Ah, uh, <laughs> it didn't. I had the timing right, but he, he put it he played it in the middle. Alright, that's too easy. I'm just gonna play this entire GC. No, um, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. I promise, just one more. You guys know when I'm lying to you because the video duration will be longer. <laughs> I just put like black space, I'd be like, gotcha. I just put like nothing at the end. 
so it's unpredictable. <laughs> Alright, so I have to go with skeletons. I like saving skeletons, more defensive than an ice spirit. But, uh. Okay, this hand is so trash! <laughs> He could be playing the same thing as me, or he could be playing Hog Cycle. That archer is actually not close enough to that expo, is it? That was bad by me. My expo got the edge! <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of how you have to do it when they play their expo. This is going to be annoying. <laughs> This matchup is so annoying. The mirror, that is. I almost missed that. What? What the heck was that expo? What the heck? There is no logical explanation for that. I mean, I guess he just misplayed it, but... I mean, obviously he misplayed it, but... I don't understand. <laughs> what was that, man? Even if it had been one higher, my it would have locked on the tower on this side. My expo, that is. He's down to Elixir, too, because he just wasted so much. No, I meant to play Tesla! You let that archer do a lot of damage, though. I'm making the misplays now. At least mine's a lot less important than his. I mean, it wasn't... He didn't even really have the elixir to support that. That expo should have been terrible from him, but... It ended up going even because... Of my misplay. If you give me a fireball on this side, I will be more than happy to take it. I don't even know why I'm protecting my expo, I don't need to. Dun, 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 dun. Set up my defensive expo, he plays one right into it. win alright I don't want this matchup I want I want to play the other one <laughs> so we'll do it again this is a nice little run though 7-1 it's not bad the one loss is stupid I got delayed a little bit and then I just never had the right push come on you people know you can only play that one deck just play it Oh, here it is. We got what we asked for. Will we regret it? Alright, so. Well, well defended. Here's the setup. Tesla. Let's go Expo. Locks on. He's he's scared. He doesn't know what to do. Dang it. We didn't play the Tesla high enough. <laughs> no. It's still like a good little push. But if the Tesla would have been higher, that would have went so much better. Because I had to waste Elixir to try to get the Mega Knight to the Tesla instead of uh, my Expo. hand is kind of bad. I have to. If I, I play the ice going too far back. No 
minor distract, so we'll just go archers here. Elixir there. Mm, this could still work out. from my Tesla you nasty beast <laughs> you nasty beast you Mega Knight get away yeah basically you just have to build up your buildings really well in this matchup because he has no big spell Target Ice Golem, I need that Tesla a lot versus the Mega Knight. Gosh dang it, the stupid miner. I think I outcycled his Mega Knight. Nope. This could be okay. Get away from my expo! Lock on, lock on, lock on. This matchup's so hard, man. But yeah, I, I could still win it. I just didn't play well enough. I needed to go, I needed to protect against miners better. My expo defenses could be a little bit better, but it's very, it's winnable, definitely winnable. Uh, my ice golems, my, my Teslas, everything could have been a little bit better, but uh, a decent player. It actually would have been nicer if he didn't have zap and log, cause zap saved him a bunch on the expo lock-ons and he has log for skeletons, ice spirit, and it helps take out the, uh, uh, expo and it clears the lane and does damage to everything so usually that deck doesn't have double spells like that he's on, he's countering like the other decks uh, usually it has a uh, spear goblins which really aren't that big of a deal but uh whatever we'll do one more I lied again that matchup can be annoying but you can play it better I definitely could have won that match I played much better that time than I did the first time I played against it Boom, boom, boom. Just gotta play better. It wouldn't be a bad idea either for me to switch lanes once the damage is in his favor. I'll go ahead and go, go, yeah, go ahead and go expo here. Yeah, I just need to distract it there. Distract for long enough. Actually, that doesn't matter right now. He's playing the popular graveyard deck. This is also a good matchup to showcase. <laughs> good fireball there. Get rid of everything. Let's me lock on quickly. Does he like not have poison or does he just not know? He should be poisoning my expos. 
He well, he should his his combo there should be ice golem. It shouldn't be ice wizard up high. It should be ice golem and then poison. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I just need to defend. Should play that expo on the right side, but. No, he doesn't have poison for my archers, so it doesn't really matter. And he is running out of time. I'll wait for him to play Ice Skull and then I'll fireball this. There it is. I go back to another pair of archers. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to just expo because his ice golem's out of rotation, so I could have connected, but I don't even know what I did there. I mean, the expo's helping, so <laughs> it works, I guess. At this point, I'm just gonna do the full GC. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, we get 12 wins. <laughs> if uh, if if the video suddenly cuts, it's not because I lost. Because I lost, it's because uh, I got 12 wins and just didn't want to show it to you guys. Kappa. Got some really good XO defense there. Really nice. I thought he was gonna be playing Graveyard too, but he's playing Minor Inferno Dragon. Oh, this is a. Why would you have Goblin Hut and like a? I don't know. I thought maybe it was Lava Hound for a second, but Goblin Hut. So that's bad timing. Oh, it's this deck. It just has minions and Goblin Hut. Okay, cool. Hey, I'm gonna say I beat it. <laughs> Even though it was like a fortunate start, I'm gonna say I beat it. <laughs> I finally uh, am doing well versus it, but uh, I don't know that this guy's playing this the best. Oh yeah, he's poison too, so this theoretically could be harder than uh, the other matchup, but uh, I had a really good start where I like countered everything really well, so that was basically all it is. It just comes down to like knowing what their hands are and then defending your expo effectively and obviously keeping it alive. Uh, so I did a much better job this time defending it. So it's Mega Knight's out of rotation. Put that on Skeletons, because he'll probably go Inferno Dragon. Yep. It's all about tendencies and seeing what your opponent likes to do. Should have hit the Miner too with that, but oh well. But yeah, you can defend really well. You just have to, yeah, similar to that, just use Tesla. Tesla just shreds a lot of stuff if uh, you can play it right. If you play it right. I wasn't expecting those minions. Got to use your cycle effectively. Had a good defense there. I mean, decent. It could have been better. Yeah, and then what I also saw was on these on these defenses of the expo when they have Mega Knight, you just really have to make sure you get that Ice Golem down to protect for the Tesla long enough that it can kill them, um, the Mega Knight. That seems like the big thing. Alright, GG's. Get that that eighth win. I don't know if I'll do a full GC. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Indecisive. Video is gonna be long. But I think all the matches are worth showing, so I'll keep all of it.
high school. Should go opposite lane there, even though Ice Golem's in the other lane, because if he plays something in front, it, he can always redirect it. Yeah, I don't like that. I should have gone opposite lane there. Yeah, because look, he zaps. We don't want to get screwed here, so we're going to play the Tesla behind. This is something you can do oftentimes if your Echo is bad. Just make sure that Tesla clears out the push. So originally I was going to fireball that, but he didn't play anything else, so might as well just take it out with archers and save my fireball. We cycled back to another expo, so we're going to play it. And this is why we didn't fireball, is because we're going to have these counter pushing archers, and they uh, obviously help the expo provide more threat. I was trying to get the split on the archers there, but still, not bad. And this is like a hard counter, so this will be a good matchup to, to show. Hopefully I win. <laughs> but this is a, a definitely, obviously, like a really hard counter, so. Oh, the tower locked on. I didn't need to do that. <sighs> Dang it. The tower locked on. I thought it was too far away. He'll just never play his goal until I play an expo again, unless it's at the bridge. So, this he's playing this ex exactly how he should. Hopefully that ghost will be wasted or he won't have the elixir. Okay. This is nice. This is good. This is fine. I'm actually going to put a Tesla up high here. Fireball that away. Oof. You got to try to play Expos at low, low Elixir. Because if you do that, oh, I predicted it. Nice. Beautiful. Let's go, baby. There's some damage. All right, definitely fireball cycle the rest of this game. I don't. I think he underestimated how much damage this X bolt will do. Let's go! Beat the hard counter, baby. He hardly did any damage. Yeah, but it's really just about outcycling, getting him low enough on elixir from positive elixir trades on defense that they don't have golem in rotation, and then you just have to counter their support troops because I mean you know what they have in hand. You just have to make sure you counter it uh, before we can get another golem down. So uh, we'll keep on playing. Even if I don't get 12 wins, I'm pretty proud of how I played. I'm not an expo master by any means. I haven't played this deck in a while, so uh, we're doing pretty good. Um, I still want to go for 12, obviously, but uh, 10's not bad. And we've had pretty bad matchups, actually, so we've gotten some good wins. Ooh. Maybe we got a good matchup, finally. <laughs> well, I mean, I've had a couple good ones as well. Uh, Princess, Ice Golem, this could be like a newer, yeah, this is the newer version of Spellbait, and this is a matchup I should definitely win. Because I don't even think he has Fireball, no, he has Poison, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm stupid. Well played by him.
Good log by him. I didn't know that he had mini P.E.K.K.A. Now I do. We'll switch lanes with the next expo so as to not get poison on the uh, lower tower. I'm, it would have actually been better for him to princess the bridge there in my hand. I mean, he would have had to know in my hand, but I didn't have archers, so that basically made it really hard for me. It's better just to put ice. I was testing that. I didn't remember how that worked. Um, it's better just to play ice going front. He's playing this really well. He actually has such a fast cycle that this is kind of hard. I'm not gonna fall for that again. This is actually just as, this is actually worse than the rocket version would be because at least with that deck I can out rotate the rocket. Solid. Ooh, them plays though. We got this, we got this, I believe. Nice. Alright. I don't have the damage, I have to wait. But this won't be enough. I lose. Well played. That was that was a terrible matchup. I didn't with how, with how fast he cycled, Ice Golem and Poison Log or whatever, that was actually so bad. Yeah, because I mean, basically to win that, all he has to do is get some pressure with Princess and then Ice Golem poisons on my Expo. He didn't even really win through Goblin Barrel damage. That being said, even though it's a counter, I outplayed him several times, and if I had not made, if I'd made a few less mistakes, I definitely could have won that. But um, obviously, you can get a 12 one with Expo. You just have to play well. Every, every matchup is winnable if you just play really, really well. Uh, even with like Giants, for example, it's just about uh, getting up that defensive test slot and then expoing and then uh, making sure to try to out cycle it or get an expo down when he's low on Elixir. So, all those very winnable matchups. But uh, yeah, I mean, 10 wins, not bad. Like I said, I'm not, I haven't played expo in a long time. It's not one of my main decks. So, uh, that's respectable. And it's very good in this meta. I mean,. You just have to train with it more often. So uh, if that's a deck you like, I hope I helped you. You can learn from my mistakes as well as when I played well. I beat some hard counters, lost to pretty, I'd say, I mean, I lost the me the meta decks that, um, that are pretty tough. 
Uh, I will say, definitely, I needed to be a little bit better at my logs in that uh, in that match and cycle them maybe a little bit more often instead of holding them as much since the deck cycles so fast. I won't even say that's a hard counter. I'd say it's a winnable matchup. Um, it's difficult because of Ice Skull and Poison Cycle. But uh, I'd say the other two are pretty bad. Just the, that deck can be bad. But like I said, that's also winnable. Nothing is unwinnable that we played. I don't even think, like, I mean, Golem is harder than Giant usually. Uh, if, unless it's Giant Miner. But uh, pretty much everything's winnable with this deck right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next video.